Welcome to this short video explaining everything you need to know to get started with automation rules and segmentation in Marketing Cloud Account Engagement. In this video, we'll cover three handy Marketing Cloud Account Engagement features to help streamline your processes and automate your marketing efforts. Dynamic lists, segmentation rules, and automation rules. We'll go through them one at a time. Dynamic lists are rule-based lists that update when a prospect's data changes. These lists refresh automatically, a few times per hour, adding prospects who now match the criteria and removing those who no longer do. What this means is that if you use a dynamic list in an Engagement Studio program or a scheduled email send, your recipient list will always be up to date. One thing to be aware of is that you cannot manually add or remove prospects from dynamic lists. Let's take a look at how to set up a dynamic list. In this example, we'll create a dynamic list to nurture a segment of prospects in the Midwest who have been active in the last 30 days. We'll start on the Prospects tab in the Account Engagement Lightning app. Click on Segmentation on the left side panel and then select Segmentation Lists. From here, we'll click the Add List button and fill out our information. We'll name this list Midwest. We'll check the Dynamic List box. Once you set up a list as a dynamic list, you will no longer be able to add or remove prospects via imports, automation, segmentation, or manually. We'll confirm by clicking the Set Rules button, and then we can begin building our rules. Our first step is to decide whether to use conditional logic. Does a prospect need to match all or match any rules to be included in our list? In this example, we want all prospects in the Midwest with activity in the last 30 days, so we'll select Match All. We'll click Add New Rule. In the first field, we'll select Prospect Default field in the dropdown. Now we can select Territory, which is one of the default fields on my prospect record. For our operator, I'll select Is and then enter Midwest. Now I'll add another rule to include our activity date criteria. This time in the first field, we'll select prospect time I'll select last activity days ago in the dropdown. I'll select is less than, and then enter 30. Once I'm ready, I could click preview to see how many prospects would meet my list criteria. I'll click run rules to activate my list. Note that it may take some time for your list to load after you save it, so keep an eye out for the email that will notify you when it's complete. As you can see, dynamic lists are a great ongoing way to segment prospects in the background. By contrast, segmentation rules give you the flexibility you need to organize your prospects on demand, say in advance of an event. Here are a few tasks segmentation rules can help with. You can create a new static list and add prospects to it simultaneously. You can add or remove prospects from an existing static list to update your current segments. You can add prospects as campaign members or add tags to categorize your prospects. Keep in mind that segmentation rules are a one-time automation, but you can rerun them whenever you need to. This gives you control over when and how these rules are applied. For our next demo, we'll build a segmentation rule to create a list of prospects who attended a trade show in the Midwest, so we can send them an invitation to our upcoming event. We'll start once again on the Prospects tab in the Account Engagement Lightning app. We'll click Segmentation on the left side panel, and this time we'll select Segmentation Rule. Select Add Segmentation Rule, and we're going to name this one Midwest. So for this one, we are going to also use that match all logic. For segmentation, we want to include people who have recently attended our trade show based on list membership. So we're going to add a new rule. We'll select Prospect List, then is a member of. We'll select our Trade Show Scans list. In the Action section, we'll select Add List. We don't have a pre-built list, so this will create a new list. We'll call our new list Midwest Event. We'll click Run Segmentation to create our list and add the right prospects to it. Now our invitation list is ready to go. The last thing we'll talk about today are automation rules. 
automation rules are rules that find matching prospects and apply actions to them. They allow you to perform a broad range of one-time or repeated actions. Once you've activated them, automation rules run continuously, checking for new prospects who match your specified criteria every 10 minutes or so. You can decide if a prospect should match the rule just once or every time they meet the criteria and how many times they can match. Common use cases include adding prospects to a list, assigning a prospect to the assigned user for their geographic region or industry, or decreasing a prospect score based on inactivity. A few things to keep in mind. New automation rules will be applied retroactively based on past data. You can edit, pause, or delete an automation rule, but it will not undo or modify previous actions on prospects who have already matched. If a prospect already has an assigned user in the database, the automation rule will not reassign them. For our last demo, we'll build an automation rule to notify a prospect's assigned users when an executive downloads the latest white paper. This time, we'll start on the Automations tab in the Account Engagement Lightning app. On the left side panel, select Automation Rules. Click the Add Automation Rules button to set up our new rule. We're going to name it Executive. We will just choose our default folder. For the description, this is an internal field to help you keep track of the purpose of your automation rules, but is not required. Tags are applied to the automation rule, not the prospects within it. Just to show you how it works, I'll check the repeat rule box. This allows the rule to match a prospect more than once. If unchecked, the rule will only match a prospect one time. We can specify the number of days before the rule can be repeated. We can limit the total number of matches or allow unlimited matches. In this case, we only want the rule to match once when a tech executive downloads our white paper the first time. If they download the white paper again in the future, our action won't fire. So we'll uncheck the repeat rule box. In the rules section, I'll set up my first match criteria. I'll select prospect file in the dropdown I'll select the file, in this case whitepaper.pdf, and then was accessed, meaning they downloaded it. For my second criteria, select Prospect Default field in the dropdown. Select the Job Title field, we'll use the Contains operator, we'll enter all our potential job titles, separated by semicolons, CEO, VP. Lastly, we'll specify the action. In this case, it's very straightforward we'll just select the Notify Assigned User action. Once we click the Create Automation Rules button, we're all set. One last thing to be aware of is that automation rules are created in a paused state. What that means is that there's one extra step once you've created your automation rule. You'll have to navigate to the Automation Rules interface, click the Settings icon, and then click Resume to activate your new rule. And that's a wrap. Dynamic lists, segmentation rules, and automation rules in Salesforce Marketing Cloud Account Engagement are a fantastic way to streamline your marketing efforts. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.